Royal Caribbean International has marked its comeback with a number of their ships already sailing and the freedom of the seas leaving from Miami on her first revenue sailing in more than a year. Get cruise ship info and more brings you a ship by ship and port by port update as of 2nd of July 2021 for each of Royal Caribbean ships. Before we jump right into the video, may I request you to please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate notifications so that way you stay updated whenever I drop my next latest cruise news update. Now without further ado, let's get started. First up, we have the Odyssey of the Seas which is Royal Caribbean International's latest ship. She was built this year in 2021 and has a maximum guest capacity of 4100 guests. She currently is located in the Bahamas. So. After arriving in Fort Lauderdale last month in June, the Odyssey of the Seas is now anchored in the Great Bahama Bank. The Quantum Ultra Class ship is all set to enter service on the 31st of July with a series of cruises from Florida. Up next at number 2, we've got the Spectrum of the Seas. She was built in the year 2019 and has a maximum guest capacity of 4,100 guests. Now, Royal Caribbean International had this ship scheduled to sail out of Hong Kong. She is currently located in Hong Kong. In preparation for a local service restart, the Spectrum of the Seas recently arrived in Hong Kong. Coming up at number 3, we have the Symphony of the Seas. She was built in the year 2018 and has a maximum guest capacity of 5,400 guests. Her current location is in the Bahamas. So, the Symphony of the Seas recently returned to North America after a dry dock in Navatia, which is in Cadiz, Spain. She is scheduled to re-enter service on the 14th of August 2021. The OSS-class vessel underwent routine maintenance and regulatory work at the Spanish shipyard. At number 4, we have the beautiful Ovation of the Seas. She was built in 2016 with a maximum guest capacity of 4,100 guests. She is currently located in Seattle, Washington. She is set to re-enter service in Alaska and the Ovation of the Seas arrived in Seattle on the 29th of June last month. She was previously based in Australia, where she remained in Asia during the entire operational pause. Coming up at number 5, we've got the Harmony of the Seas. She was built in the year 2016 and has a maximum guest capacity of 5,400 guests. Her current location is in Cyprus, which is in Limassol. Now, in the month of April 2021, the Harmony of the Seas returned to Europe for a dry dock in Cadiz, Spain. After undergoing regular maintenance and class work, the ship is sailed to the Mediterranean and is currently located in Limassol, Cyprus. Moving on to number 6, we have the Anthem of the Seas. She was built in the year 2015 and has a maximum guest capacity of 4,100 guests. Her current location is by the coast of England. She is set to resume operations offering domestic cruises around the UK and the Anthem of the Seas recently moved to England. At number 7, we have the Quantum of the Seas. She was built in the year 2014 and has a maximum guest capacity of 4,100 guests. Her current location is in Singapore. So, back in November 2020, the Quantum of the Seas became the first Royal Caribbean ship to welcome guests back on board with a series of short cruises to Norway from Singapore. After seven months, the ship still remains in service in this region. At number eight, we have the Allure of the Seas. She was built in the year 2010 and has a maximum guest capacity of 5,400 guests. She's currently located in Florida and the Bahamas. The Allure of the Seas recently docked in Miami as part of its service resumption preparations. She is set to depart on a test cruise which is on the 27th of July 2021. The ship is poised to offer Caribbean cruises from Port Canaveral starting in the month of August 2021. At number 9, we have the beautiful Oasis of the Seas. She was built in the year 2009 and has a maximum guest capacity of 5,400 guests. Her current location is in the Bahamas. She is currently being prepared for a simulated voyage and she remains in the Bahamas. She is set to depart Cape Liberty for her first test cruise which is scheduled for the 22nd August 2021. At number 10, we've got the Independence of the Seas. She was built in the year 2008 and has a maximum guest capacity of 3,600 guests. She is currently located in Galveston, Texas. Her first cruise is scheduled for the 15th of August 
ahead of the company's guest operations restart. At number 11, we've got the Liberty of the Seas. She was built in the year 2007 and has a maximum guest capacity of 3,600 guests. She's currently crossing the Atlantic and sailing, and after several months spent around the Bahamas, the Liberty of the Seas is presently on her way to Europe for a routine dry dock. She's expected to be in Cadiz, Spain, where she will complete dry dock on the 18th of July. At number 12, we've got the Freedom of the Seas. She was built in the year 2006 and has a maximum guest capacity of 3,600 guests. She's currently located in Miami. So, she set sail on a first revenue cruise in more than a year, leaving last Friday from Miami. After her test cruise, she recently received a conditional sailing certificate from the United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and is all set to receive guests back from today. At number 13, we have the beautiful Jewel of the Seas. She was built way back in 2004 and has a maximum guest capacity of 2,100 guests. Her current location is in Limassol, Cyprus. So, she is ready to re-enter service in the Mediterranean and the Jewel of the Seas is currently anchored off Limassol. At number 14, we have the Marina of the Seas. She was built in the year 2003 and has a maximum guest capacity of 3,100 guests. Her current location is in Port Canaveral, which is in Florida. So, after spending the operational pause around Florida, she after that is set to depart from the same port to go on a test cruise from the 11th of August. She was part of the service resumption plans for Royal Caribbean International. At number 15, we've got the Serenade of the Seas. She was built in the year 2003 and has a maximum guest capacity of 2,100 guests. She is currently located in Seattle, Washington, where she is scheduled to offer cruises going to Alaska starting from the 19th of July. At number 16, we have the Navigator of the Seas. She was built in the year 2002 and has a maximum guest capacity of 3,100 guests. She is currently located in Cadiz, Spain. So, after crossing the Atlantic Ocean in June, the Navigator of the Seas arrived in Spain recently and has entered dry dock at Cadiz's Navantia Shipyard. At number 17, we have the Adventure of the Seas. She was built in the year 2001 and has a maximum guest capacity of 3,100 guests. She is currently located in the Bahamas. So, the Adventure of the Seas went ahead and welcomed guests back on board on 12th June. And now, she is currently offering a program of week-long cruises to the Bahamas and Mexico sailing out of Nassau. Up at number 18, we have the Radiance of the Seas. She was built in the year 2001 and has a maximum guest capacity of 2,100 guests. She is currently located in the Indian Ocean and after spending the operational pause in Asia, she went ahead and is currently sailing towards Colombo in Sri Lanka. Up at number 19, we've got the Explorer of the Seas. She has a maximum guest capacity of 3,100 guests and was built in the year 2000 current location is in the Bahamas. So, she's currently on her way to Coco Cay, which is Royal Caribbean International's private island in the Bahamas. At number 20, we have the Vision of the Seas. So, the Vision of the Seas was built in the year 1998. She has a maximum guest capacity of 2,000 guests and her current location is in St. Martin. So, Vision of the Seas had her Bermuda season cancelled and hence, she returned back to the Caribbean. Like other Vision class ships, she is also currently located in St. Martin. At number 21, we have the Rapshiri of the Seas. She was built in the year 1997 and has a maximum guest capacity of 2,100 guests. Her current location is in St. Martin. So, after a visit to St. John's earlier last month, the Rapshiri of the Seas is currently docked in Phillipsburg, which is in St. Martin. At number 22, we have the Voyager of the Seas. She was built in the year 1999 and has a maximum guest capacity of 3,100 guests. Her current location is in the South China Sea. She is one of Royal Caribbean International's Asia-based ships. And hence, she has gone ahead and anchored off the coast of Singapore. At number 23, we have the Enchantment of the Seas. She was built in the year 1997 and has a maximum guest capacity of 2,250 guests. Her current location is in St. Martin. 
So, the Enchantment of the Seas is the third Royal Caribbean ship which is currently in St. Martin along with the others. At number 24, we have the Grandeur of the Seas. She was built in the year 1996 and has a maximum guest capacity of 1950 guests. She is currently located in the Bahamas. So, Presently located at Bahamas Stirrup K Anchorage, the Grandeur of the Seas recently visited Miami on a technical stop. And with that, we conclude our cruise news updates for Royal Caribbean International as of 2nd of July 2021. Please do share your comments down below. And yes, if you enjoyed watching this video, subscribe for my channel and a thumbs up for my video will really be appreciated. Until next time, you take care and stay safe.